The genius of our world's finest designers is difficult to overstate, but for every piece of ingenuity, there's a design that leaves your face firmly buried in your palms. From the intentionally devious to the utterly dumb, let's check out the work of some of the world's worst designers. Amazing. Clamshell packaging. It's something we've all had the displeasure to encounter at some point or another. It's almost impossible to open without something sharp, and you usually cut yourself in the process. While this product is designed specifically to offer a sharp solution to our clamshell woes, it misses quite an obvious issue. It comes in clamshell packaging itself. Oh, clamshell knife, you've become the very thing you swore to destroy. Moving on up now to when bumbling architects in London paid homage to Bond villains by inadvertently creating a death ray in 2014. This concave skyscraper on Frenchurch Street was constructed at such an angle that it actually focused sunlight onto the street below, with the same effect as a magnifying glass. Architects failed to take this into account in their design, resulting in street temperatures of up to an astounding 243 degrees Fahrenheit at the height of summer. Luckily, after parked cars began literally melting in the heat, they installed an awning to stop the streets turning into hell on Earth. But it was too late. The blunder was already in the history books as one of the worst design errors of all time. This next entry is almost as bad for anyone with an obsessive need for architectural order because this block of houses is totally misaligned from the rest of the town. This likely occurred because the original neighborhood was constructed in alignment with true east and west, while the rest of the town was later built parallel to the coastline. But with the frustration this site causes to perfectionists worldwide, I doubt the explanation makes it any better. While most software is available via online download today, some people prefer a good old fashioned installation disc. But the designer behind this software case decided to infuriate both CD lovers and downloaders alike. A CD case existing solely to announce there's no disc needed has to be one of the most egregious wastes of packaging I've ever seen. While it may be an attempt to use up old stock they had lying around, they could have easily sold the cases to other companies who could use them for, you know, actual CDs. For anyone who likes to eat jelly beans by the handful, I present these individually wrapped abominations. These jelly beans have been painstakingly wrapped one by one, supposedly to stop them sticking together when subjected to warm temperatures. But if that's a concern for you, you're obviously not eating your jelly beans quickly enough. Don't be misled by the claims plastered on the front of wet wipes like these, which are deceptively labeled flushable. Though it'd be reasonable to assume the term implies they're environmentally safe to flush, flushable in this case is actually much more literal. Harmful to aquatic life with long lasting effects is written on the back label revealing that while the wipes can technically be flushed without clogging your pipes, you probably shouldn't. Although if you do flush a couple, you don't have to worry about alligators in the sewers ever again. Moving on from aquatic hazards to genuine risks to human life, this Michael Fassbender endorsed ad encourages people to walk backwards to test their vision. Only doing so at this particular location would eventually land them directly in the train tracks. Michael Fassbender, you should be ashamed. Unless maybe this is an intelligence test disguised as a vision test? Let's hope so. Speaking of serious hazards, these crosswalk lights, colors, and symbols are reversed. The walking man means stop, while the stationary man means go. Now this wouldn't be too bad for most people to figure out, but for colorblind people who go by the symbol rather than the color, it could be a death sentence. While this is likely a case of faulty installation, the sheer risk to vulnerable folks lands whoever's responsible for this failure a spot in the deepest pits of the underworld. Some designs take being literal to the next level. Case in point, this box with pictures that imply you're getting two wireless earbuds when it actually only contains a single one. I mean, come on, who sells a single earbud? I suppose they're being honest though in a way. When they say music earphone, they certainly aren't lying. When it comes to product design, the Deception Olympics can be put to bed with these misleading bed sheets. While the package seemingly proclaims to be an 1800 thread count Egyptian cotton sheet set, only the most eagle-eyed consumer would spot the teeny tiny side note. The small print reveals the product, actually a microfiber sheet is merely comparable to the feel of those luxurious items it displays in its golden centerpiece. These unscrupulous hacks basically sell their product based on what it's making you miss out on instead of what you actually get. 
but it doesn't get much more misleading than this, found roughly 100 miles before the actual highway exit to Niagara Falls. Doubtlessly the cause of countless infuriated people searching for re-entry to the highway, it lures people to an unofficial information center, hoping they won't spot the ultra-thin middle text. If you're ever on this road without Google Maps to hand, make sure you don't Niagara fall for this one. This brownie company had the brilliant idea to post gluten-free and organic on the front of their product and then plainly confess to their own chicanery on the back. This misleading tagline is not only annoying, but also potentially harmful depending on the severity of a person's gluten allergy. Man, if you can't trust a delicious snack, who can you trust? This restaurant seems to be offering a kind-hearted, money-saving option for their elderly clientele. Until you look at the fine print. Aside from being a trap to those with poor eyesight, a required accompaniment of both parents for the over 80s means this is a promise they'll probably never have to deliver on. Unless the local over 80s take their revenge by filling the restaurant with coffins and urns? Scam designs aren't limited to the elderly though. This glitter bottle is sure to give any young woman a dose of disappointment so hefty, only her wedding night will match it. While it's sitting on a shelf in store, the buyer would be none the wiser to the con at play until they took the bottle home and rotated it 90 degrees. At least you can cover those tears with glitter. Similarly, this pot of pomade was designed to make it look like you're getting a lot more product than you actually are. In another attempt to squeeze consumers for every dollar possible, the falsehood only becomes apparent once you're already halfway through the tub. If you're unlucky like Reddit user TGITC, you might encounter the tech world's equivalent of the previous scam products. TGITC's colleague picked up a cheap hard drive that turned out to be cheap for a reason. The drive's creator had the audacity to hot glue a stripped USB thumb drive inside an empty hard drive case and sell it under the guise of legitimate hardware. They even put metal weights inside to try and legitimize the illusion. I can't fault the ingenuity, but I can't fault the moral character of the creator. To hell with you! These flight information screens at Tenerife Airport are guaranteed to enrage because they intermittently display full screen adverts, concealing the important flight info. Of all the incredibly inconvenient places to put an ad, this has to be the worst. You might miss your flight waiting to see your gate number, but at least you won't miss the new whopper. Certain news sites have recently begun following a similar methodology. Publications will share articles that you can apparently read for free until after you've scrolled down a bit and got hooked into the article, your reading is rudely interrupted. At this point, a paywall will cover the page, not letting you finish reading until you buy a subscription. What a tease. Some designs aren't so much evil as they are astoundingly stupid. Like this advert, where a clothing company decided to promote their plus size leggings, not by using a suitably large model, but by having a skinny model pose in just one of the legs. Talk about adding insult to injury. This wolf mug was lovingly sculpted into an adorable drink receptacle for all ages. But there's one crucial drawback. Every time you lift it to your lips, you gouge your eyes out. The lesson is clear. Never mess with the wolves. Not even in mug form. Have you ever been swimming and thought, you know what would make this better? A giant floating female hygiene product. No? Well, perhaps you're not the market the makers of this pool float had in mind. Or more likely, the designers totally miss the obvious resemblance to sanitary towels because they're terrible at their jobs. Whatever the case is, this hilariously bad work of art is certainly a period piece. Tin cans are many things, but being sensitive to exposure to air is not one of them. Yet this jaw-droppingly stupid waste of plastic was snapped in a Chinese supermarket where it would seem Coca-Cola can be found in the produce aisle. That's right, among the other fresh fruits and veggies. For every effort to reduce plastic waste, never forget that somewhere in the world, people are doing stuff like this. If you hate being comfortable on flights, this company's designed for super low budget alternative airplane seating is just the ticket. These so-called standing seats are essentially glorified versions of those uncomfortable leaning benches and are proposed as a genuine standing up trade-off for cheaper flights. Because who needs to be able to move or experience comfort when you could cram more people into the cabin like sardines? Luckily, no one's adopted them yet, but knowing airlines, it's only a matter of time. Another anti-comfort design are these food court benches, which are intended to keep people from sitting in them for too long. With the intentionally tiring, uncomfortable design, they can keep a flow of customers constantly moving in and out. More money for the cafe, bigger calf muscles for the visitors. It's a win-win, right? 
While you're sat on the benches from hell, why not tuck into this scam sandwich? Like a washed up supermodel, the outside looks half decent, but it's hollow and empty on the inside. If this is what it looks like with those sneaky extra slices, I shudder to think what it looks like without. Either way, it's still not as bad as this one, which besides being one of the worst food scams ever, it's just plain repulsive however you look at it. If you're hungry for dessert after your scam sandwiches, how about a cup of ice cream that looks twice as full as it actually is? Someone needs to tell these disgraces to the noble ice cream industry that stacking scoops high above does not excuse failing to fill the proper space below. To hell with you too, soft serve Satan. Hope your ice cream doesn't melt. Recently, building multiple rear cameras into a smartphone has become a big selling point. And as with all trends, some unscrupulous sellers have hopped on board the Multicamera Express, ripping people off along the way. This phone from the exterior appears to have three different cameras, but removing the casing reveals only one real camera, with the others just being glass facades. This is surprisingly common among cheap knockoff phone manufacturers who will snap you up as a sucker before you can even say cheese. So I'd hold off on multi-camera knockoffs if I were you, at least until the iPhone 40 comes out. Have you witnessed any truly awful designs you'd like to share with the world? I'd love to hear about them, so send them my way at stories at bmaze.com. Thanks for watching.